In this session, we will discuss about the different methods of the preparation of thiol from different compounds. There are basically five methods to prepare thiol from different compounds and I will explain it one by one. So the first method A. If you treat an alkyl halide like CH3, CH2, I. This one is actually ethyl. This functional group is ethyl, ethyl iodide. When you treat ethyl iodide with potassium hydrosulfide, that is KSH, this one is potassium hydrosulfide. And if you heat the compounds, that is heating ethyl iodide with potassium hydrosulfide, you will get, you will get thiol, that is CH3, CH2, SH. This SH group is called the thiol group. Remember, this one is the thiol. So, this is the thiol. Thiol group. Here, there are two carbons and this group is actually ethyl, but here we say it's as ethane. Ethane plus thiol gives ethane thiol. So, this group is ethane thiol. And you will get potassium iodide as the byproduct. Clear. So, this is the first reaction. Or the first method of preparation of ethane thiol. And in our second method, we again use an ethyl and alkyl halide such as CH3, CH2, Br. This time it is ethyl bromide, ethyl bromide. And we have to heat that with thiourea. This one is thiourea. S C NH2, NH2. Thio stands for this sulfur. So this is called thio urea. When you heat this ethyl bromide with this thio urea, you will get an intermediate product like this. That is CH3, CH2, S, then this one C, NH2, NH2. Here it attains a positive charge and the bromine will move outside. This one, this one actually is a salt and we call that as ethyl iso ethyl iso thiourea salt. Thiourea salt. So in our first step we got we, we get this salt. Then we have to hydrolysis. We have to we have to provide a hydrolysis that is H2 adding H2O in the presence of a base. So this process is called the basic hydrolysis. Basic hydrolysis. This process is called basic hydrolysis that is addition of water in the presence of a base. In, in that process, you will get a thiol that is CH3, CH2, SH. We call this as ethane thiol, and you will get urea as the byproduct that is, oxygen comes in the double bond of carbon NH2, NH2. This is called the urea. So, this is the method. How will you convert? This is the. This is also the method that that how will you convert thiourea to urea? Or in order to make urea, you can do this process. Clear. So, in our third process, that is C, we are using Grignard's reagent. Grignard's reagent means CH3, CH2, MgBr. This one is called the Grignard reagent. Grignard's reagent. Grignard's reagent. 
and we have to heat the Grignard reagent with sulfur. Sulfur. Then we will get a product like this CH3, CH2, sulfur, MgBr. CH2, sulfur, MgBr. Then you have to provide an acidic hydrolysis that is H2O. H2O in the presence of an acid and you will get ethyl CH3 CH2 as such. Clear. Again you get the ethane thiol. So that's our third step. This is this is the way how you produce ethane thiol from Grignard's reagent. So in our fourth method we are passing a mixture of vapor ethanol that is CH3, CH2, OH, vapor alcohol, here it is ethanol, a mixture of vapor alcohol and hydrogen sulfide. We are passing it over through the thoria catalyst that is THO twice, thoria catalyst. This one is a catalyst called thoria catalyst. And if you do this, you will get the thiol CH3, CH2, as such, that is ethane thiol plus water. So, this is our fourth step. Here, remember the catalyst used must be the Thoria catalyst, and you have to put a temperature or heat at a temperature of 400 degrees Celsius. Clear. And in our final method of preparation of thiol, we are using an alkene such as CH3, CH double bond, CH2, here it is propene. We are adding propene to hydrogen sulfide, that is H2S, in the presence of hydro hydrochloric acid catalyst. catalyst. So, in, if you do, if you mix or if you add hydrogen sulfate to the propane in the presence of hydro, hydrochloric acid, you will get a thio CH3, CH2, sorry, CH3. Thiol comes here, that is S, thiol group fits in here, and a hydrogen. And this one is called since the thiol group is on the second carbon, we have to mark that as 2, 2 propane thiol. Clear, clear. So this method is used for making secondary and tertiary thiols. Clear.